These are all the chanterelles I picked out in my 20 to 30 minute walk. I'm gonna go home and cook them up for supper. It smells amazing. It smells like forest. It smells kind of peppery. It smells so fragrant and it's so unique. Like you can't just go to the supermarket and buy this kind of food. It's so awesome that you can, you know, when you forage and when you get your own stuff, like your own food, you can create food that is just, you know, things that you've never experienced, right? This is like a type of travel. On my way back from Dalga Pills, I thought I would just uh, take a stop in the woods here and see what I can find for some mushrooms. Do you see it? There she is. Some nice big ones. Right here at my feet, there's some more chanterelles. Some beauties. Look at that, nice and thick stemmed. That's a beauty. Big ones here. Oh man. Look at that. Look at that nice chanterelle here. Check this guy out. This is like my version of metal detecting or, you know, looking for the gold nuggets here in Latvia. This is a great way to spend your time. So much I got. Here's some more. Where there's one, there's usually more. I like to keep these chanterelles in large pieces because after you fry them up in butter for a while, they kind of get shriveled up. Just keep those as they are. Now all the water is coming out of the mushrooms and uh, that's good, that's what we want. It smells amazing, it smells like fragrant pepper now, like a peppery smell. Uh, they're losing their color, they're not totally, you know, they're not very yellow and orange like they were. Uh, that's normal. After that water evaporates, then we'll be left with just the butter and the butters will start to actually, f the butters. After the water evaporates, we'll be left with the butter and the mushrooms, and then they'll start to shrivel up and get kind of small. And then we'll actually start frying the mushrooms, you know, like deep frying them in the butter, which will also add a nice little taste. We have to keep all that fluid in there. We can't just dump it out, okay? Don't just ever dump it out, because it's got the butter in there mixed in. It has a lot of flavor. All that flavor from the mushrooms is in that juice. So that's really important. That's like, you know, that's the whole point. Like that's where all this amazing flavor is. So we got to keep that and uh, just be patient. It takes about five or 10 minutes. All right, we're getting down to the butter now. You can hear it starting to sizzle. That water is basically gone. 
I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Oh yeah, it smells amazing. It smells like forest, it smells kind of peppery, it smells so fragrant and it's so unique. Like, you can't just go to the supermarket and buy this kind of food. It's so awesome that you can, you know, when you forage and when you get your own stuff, like your own food, you can create food that is just, you know, things that you've never experienced, right? This is like a type of travel. It's a type of adventure. And, uh, oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, now that we are down to the butter again, and we're going to fry these bad boys. I'm going to let them fry a little bit by themselves, but not for long, okay? You don't want to over fry them. Then you kind of start to kill them, and they lose a bit of their taste, I think, right? So I'm going to fry them here a little bit, and then I'm going to add these onions back in. Then we're going to add, well, I, I eat gluten-free, uh, so I'm going to add potato starch, but you can add flour, okay? And we're gonna make a row, and then we turn that row into a white sauce. And I'll show you all about that here. All right, so now I'm gonna add, actually no, now I'm gonna kill the heat. We're gonna bring the heat right down. Actually, I'm gonna turn it right off, just for this part. You don't want it to burn because things are gonna get dry. So we add just a couple tablespoons here of uh, potato starch. You can add white flour. And this basically makes like a dough. And this is actually called a row, R-O-U-X, row. And this is the first step for making a white sauce. I need that, I'm gonna put that back in. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so, nice and dry. Maybe I'll do a little bit more because this is a fairly large batch. Fairly large serving of sauce. Yeah, nice and dry there. And then we're gonna slowly add milk. Now we have this nice, silky white sauce. And it probably, hopefully, tastes a bit like mushroom. Now we gotta turn the heat back on. And we're just gonna bring it back up to a simmer. All the main cooking is done. But uh, keeping it on a simmer for a little bit is gonna take some of the, or a lot of the flavor out of those mushrooms and into the sauce. Yeah. Tastes like onion and guyliness. Chanterelles. Guyliness is the local name. Okay, but it's pretty bland. So, at this point, you can add salt according to how you like it. Okay. Just add sea salt. Teaspoon, and then try that out. And there it is, chanterelle white sauce with potatoes. That's a great dish. That's enjoying nature right there.